This short film clip is just one of thousands shown to the British public during World War II. Its details long forgotten. So the wing leader team set out to rediscover its history and, in doing so, found one of the rarest pieces of Battle of Britain footage ever seen. At first glance, this footage appears to show two aircraft flying along the coast before one of them drops a bomb in a distant harbour. Closer examination of one of the aircraft reveals it to be a Messerschmitt 109, so the harbour is likely to be on the southeast coast of England within the range of the German fighters. There aren't many harbours to choose from, and Mark soon identified it as Folkestone. We grabbed a still from the footage which shows this very distinctive pier and this distinctive headland in front of it. Um, anybody on the south coast will tell you that's Folkestone. You see the, that's Folkestone Pier there and this headland here. Perfect match. So two 109s doing a hit and run on Folkestone towards the end of the battle, or sometime in 1941, was a reasonable assessment of the footage. But then Mark noticed a crucial detail that hadn't been seen before. Now if you look closely at this still frame here, you can see that the leading 109 actually has one undercarriage leg hanging down. Now this changes everything because this 109 is clearly in trouble. And if that's the case, then this is actually an RAF fighter and that is not a bomb hitting the water, it's the 109 crashing into the sea. This discovery was remarkable. Was this really footage of a Spitfire shooting down an ME 109 during the Battle of Britain? No such film was thought to exist, apart from the camera gun footage taken by the fighters themselves. There was only one way to prove this theory, and that was to find out if any ME-109s had been shot down into Folkestone Harbour during the battle. Mark searched through wing leaders' Luftwaffe crash archive books, which list every German aircraft that came down over the UK during World War II. There was nothing similar in both July and August 1940. But then, Mark had a stroke of luck. Ah, oh, look at this. On the 23rd of September 1940, a 4JG2 109 was shot down into the sea off Folkestone Pier. And look, there's even a photo. And look at that. Look closely there. The 109's got its undercarriage leg hanging down. This is the one that one in a million chance that two separate cameramen had captured the crash of this 109 helped to prove his identity beyond any doubt. So what was the full story taking place in this remarkable footage? Mark delved deeper into the records and found the Spitfire pilot's combat report along with the RAF interrogation file on the German pilot, Feldwebel Friedrich Dilthey. The interrogation file quoted Dilthey as saying that his orders had been to escort bombers as far as the coast, where they were to leave them and patrol the area whilst waiting for bombers to return. The Spitfire pilot was Flight Lieutenant Ivor Cosby of 72 Squadron. His combat report said the following. I was number three of Blue Section, which was ordered to patrol Gravesend at 25,000 feet. The enemy fighters were above and dived to the attack. I then took evasive action found myself alone. On looking around, I noticed one Spitfire engaging an ME-109, and there was another ME-109 on the Spitfire's tail, so I got on his tail and gave him a three second burst. The Spitfire then became aware of the enemy aircraft and turned to engage him. I followed the original 109 and gave him a four second burst. Petrol immediately gushed out of the port side of the fuselage and he began to lose height rapidly. Making sure that it was all clear behind, I followed him down over Folkestone, gave him a final burst, and he went into the sea about 400 yards from the pier. A local lifeboat report then states that the enemy aircraft came down in the sea about halfway between the pier of the Southern Railway and Copt Point. An army officer and lance corporal jumped into the sea from the pier and swam to the aeroplane. They found the pilot to be badly injured so they held him to a nearby fishing boat. Remarkably, footage also survives of Dilthey being brought ashore, having suffered a broken leg and being wounded in the shoulder. The man in bare feet is believed to be one of his rescuers. 
Both pilots survived the war. Dilthey in a Canadian prisoner of war camp, and Cosby as a successful Mosquito night fighter pilot. It is not known if either of them was ever aware that their life or death encounter had been captured on film for us to marvel at some 80 years later.